everyone who's ready to can. I haven't uh, brought out the canner since I did the carrots um, about a month ago almost now, I think. But I was, so I'm doing the pantry challenge. So I'm not buying anything but dairy items. But I was gifted, so it doesn't can. I was gifted five pounds of already mixed slaw. And then five pounds of the shredded cabbage, shredded carrots, and shredded red cabbage. So, we're going to be canning some slaw today. Um, technically, it's going to be pickled. It's not going to be canned. I say can as an overall, like, it's going to be in a can. Um, but we are going to pickle coleslaw today because my recipe for slaw uses vinegar, sugar, and mayonnaise. And so, obviously, you cannot can with mayonnaise, which is why I've never done the uh, pickled or canned coleslaw because you can do it both ways but I read somewhere that once you drain the brine if you pickle it and you drain the brine and then you mix in mayonnaise that it tastes just like the mayonnaise based coleslaw so since I was gifted 10 pounds I figured why not let's try it uh, worst case scenario I'll have to doctor it a little bit but it'll still be good. Um, and with it being pickled, it should keep that crisp crunch, um, at least partially. If I have any pickle crisp, I will put pickle crisp in it. Uh, but these do need to be canned today. So like, I don't have time to go to the store or anything like that. Um, it needs used. So I hope you stick around and let's get started on canning something new today. So first disclaimer, I am quadrupling the original recipe for this brine because I'm not sure exactly how much the cabbage is going to make but for one recipe it's a quarter of what I'm going to show you and it's equal to using three carrots and one head of cabbage um, and one head of cabbage according to good old Google is about eight cups shredded um, so I am assuming I am probably going to need to quadruple the amount of brine which is exactly what I'm doing so I have a nice heavy bottom pot and to that we are adding 10 cups of white vinegar and you want to make sure whichever vinegar you are using has the correct amount of acidity which is 5% um, you can see that it's usually right on the front 5% acidity or it can be um, sometimes on the smaller jars. It's over here somewhere. Regardless, um, you wanna make sure that you're using the correct amount. Um, now, to this, we are going to add eight cups of water. And then we wanna add 10 cups of sugar. Now, my sugar is actually in this. Uh, so I buy my sugar in bulk and then I usually have a can a small gallon jar but I figured for this amount I can just get it straight from the source so there's four cups total so now I'm going to turn the heat up on the oh salt we're gonna add some salt okay so that was four tablespoons of Himalayan pink salt or you could use canning salt um, just don't use anything that is iodized. Now I'm going to get a whisk and we're gonna turn the heat on and just start whisking this up until all of the sugar is dissolved. Okay, 
So our jars are heating up because hot jars, hot liquid. Um, our brine just came up to a boil and I did have the lid on it so that my whole house didn't have vinegar, um, vinegar going everywhere. And now we are going to add our vegetables right into the pot. And I'm going to try to fit this whole bag in there. Okay, so that is five pounds of vegetables. And now I'm going to let them sit. Let me bring you over so you can see. I'm going to obviously uh get everything down in there but i'm gonna let them sit in the brine and just heat through for just about a minute we're not trying to cook them or anything and while this is going for its minute i'm going to get my jars ready so i am using a mixture of regular and wide mouth lids i have rings I have the lids, I have some paper towel that's going to be for wiping my rim. I have a funnel, and you wanna make sure you have all your stuff. Oh, I also have the cloth so that the uh, hot jars don't hit a cold surface, which can cause your jar to break. But I find that it's crucial to have all your stuff together um, so that you aren't running around frantic while you're also trying to can stuff because that's just, that just doesn't ever work out well, in my opinion. So, you also, um, I forgot to mention this, you want to make sure when you're water bath canning that you have enough water in your canner so that it's going to cover whatever size jar you have by at least an inch, um, if it's not covering it by an inch, then it's not going to be canned correctly. So you want to make sure your water level is an, at least an inch. I usually try to go two inches um, above whatever jar size um, you have. So it's been about a minute. Okay, so I kind of did a little switcheroo here so that you could see better what I was doing. Um, so I'm going to give it a nice stir. so pretty okay and now we are going to fill our jars to a half inch of headspace okay so my technique for um, filling jars whenever they are in a brine is take your funnel and you want every time you get a ladle full I like to pretty much drain out most of that brine so you'll still get some brine in the jar and that's fine. Um, this just makes it this makes it to where you don't can a jar full of brine with a little bit of slaw in it or pickles or whatever it is you're doing. So we're going to pack the jar to about an inch of headspace. And then we'll add just brine to get us to that half an inch space, head space. Debubble. And then after you debubble, you want to check your head space again. We're a little over. Okay, perfect. And so you can see all of the 
slaw is underneath our brine and there is brine all the way throughout this is not a dry jar there is brine all the way throughout brine on top but it's not overflowing with brine and then you wipe the rim lid there's still something on my rim and rinse. fingertip tight and now these are going to go into the water bath canner for 15 minutes so you let the canner come up to a rolling boil with the lid on then start your time for 15 minutes and let it go and then once the timer goes off after 15 minutes you um, take the lid off and let it sit for five minutes before taking them out of the canner um, and you do need to wait that five minutes uh, and the 15 minutes is for my altitude so if you are at a higher elevation you may have to add time so check your altitude and um, see if you need to add anything I am at a low altitude so I do not need to add any time all right so here is the finished product they look so beautiful I cannot wait to try I'm gonna wait a couple weeks since they are in a pickling brine um, one thing to note, because I see this question all the time, this is okay. If you have a tighter pack on your vegetables, it's going to look more like this. If you don't and you have more liquid, then it's going to look like this. Both are perfectly fine. Um, but I ended up getting, hold on, oh, thank you. I ended up getting 17 pints. Um, I would have had more like 2021, but I didn't want to do a third canning session. So I went ahead and just strained the, uh, that slaw off and we're going to use it for dinner. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching.